So another important uh, concept in R is to know how to do regression. So regression is a statistical technique that relates a dependent variable to one or more independent variables. So regression is all about relationships, relationships between variables. Okay, so let's jump into R and let's start uh, regression in R. So in R, uh, we need to have certain packages for us to do uh, regression, just like all other concepts. If you want to do anything in R, you need to first make sure if you have the package uh, available for such operation. So for regression, we are going to use uh, certain packages, but like what we have discussed before, we need to have uh, the Pacman management tool or the Pacman package, which is a package that enables you to install or load other packages. It just helps it's easier to work with Pacman when you are installing or when you are loading other packages. I'm not saying it's not possible to do without uh, Pacman, but it's, it is just easier because you can load as many as packages you want at once all right so let's uh, let's make sure that we have installed installed uh, pacman so to install pacman you just need to write this command then pacman all right so that's how you install pacman but i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to run this command because i have pacman installed already as you can see here it's already installed and uh, the next thing is now for me to use pacman to install other packages which are important during this uh, session of regression so i'm going to say pacman then double colon and p load then i'll start by loading pacman itself and also uh, now i can list as many as packages i want so the first package that i want is carrot that's the first package and the next package is last so basically i'm just going to work with these two packages uh, okay so now i have uh, my two packages installed including pacman and they are also loaded at the same time so the next thing now i need to do is uh, i need to have data now for me to operate my regression so the data that i'm going to use is data that is already in R. but for me to access that data i need a certain package which is called data sets so i need to call for this data sets package so i'm going to say library that's the way yeah, we call the packages. So I'm going to say data sets. Data sets. Then I run this command. And I'm going to say which data set am I using. Um, I want to use MT cars. Let me just view MT cars. View MT cars. Then I run the command. So this is empty cars. This is the data that I want to use, data set that I want to use for my regression. But what am I regressing? What I'm doing here is I want to see what's the relationship between horsepower and the rest of the uh, variables that are here. So, but for me to achieve that, I need to separate horsepower from the rest of the variables and I create a new data set and I call it another name and I label it, I give it uh, the other variables except horsepower and also I create another horsepower uh, variable or data set, then I compare the two data sets. All right. So to achieve that, I need just to know which uh, the number of column, uh, the column number for HP, which is number four, so I'm going to say uh, the new data set, I'm going to call it X. 
I'm saying x is equal to s matrix. I'm treating it as matrix. As matrix, then I label uh, where it is coming from. It's empty cars. Then from empty cars, I want to remove column number four. Right? Then I view to see if I achieve this. I view x. All right, as you can see now, we have removed HP, which is important. And now the next thing is we need to have another data set, which is called Y. And I'm saying Y is equal now to empty cars. And from empty cars, I'm taking column number four. Right, so I run the command. And once I do this, I'm going to say, uh, I need to see uh, what if we have achieved what we what we need. Uh, let's see if we have achieved that already. I'm going to say view view y. I run the command. I think we have achieved it. Yeah, we have 32, and and we have these values. So I think we are done with that. We have finally separated them. So now uh, we we'll now run the regression. So to run the regression, I'm going to say uh, I will label the regression model R E G. Then I'm saying L M, and I'm saying I want this uh, Y. I want to see the relationship between Y and X. The rest of the the rest of the variables then i run this now for me to get the results i need just to say summary summary of r e g the model then i run this so i'm going to see uh, the coefficients listed here and uh, the standard error the t value the probabilities here and there's significant codes and also one important thing is the multiple r squared which is 90 percent and uh, adjusted r squared 85 percent which makes this uh, model a good fit of the data as it explains 90 percent which is uh, a very big uh, a very large number and now i'm also going to uh do some uh to do some other commands i also going to say i need to see the residuals so the residuals i'm going to say receipt then r e g then i run the command so these are the list of the residuals that are there and for me to visualize them in a proper way I need to have a histogram, so I'm going to say yeast. Then, when I say yeast, I will I will start to give the uh, the, the 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 type of uh, graph that I want and from which variable. So I need from residuals of uh, R E G model. Then I run this command. Now you can see we have this. Uh, this histogram i can also specify uh, it's also allowed for me to specify the color to be blue any color of my choice but i'll work with blue i can also i i want also to remove the frequency and put density so i'm going to say frequency is equal to false right uh, i think that's okay then i can run this and also i want uh, to add a new uh, a new plot that is a normal distribution i want to see if this data was used to create a normal distribution uh, plot what our what are we supposed to get so we need to understand this so to 
add another plot, an overlapping plot. We are going to say curve. Curve, this is for a normal distribution, genome. Then I'm going to say X, then mean. For the mean, I'm going to use the mean of the recid residual. Oh, so it's recid then from the model REG. Then also I need the standard deviation and it's coming from the recid REG. Right, then I'm going to close, I'm going to put a comma here. Right, so I'm also going to customize this normal distribution. Color, I'm going to put red. And I'm also going to put uh, the thickness of the, the graph. I'm going to put three. Then I'm also going to say add, which means I need it to be included on the on the histogram, this histogram, and I'm going to say add. That's true. Right. Then I run the command. So now you can see uh, this is the graph that we have produced. So it shows that the residuals they are normally distributed and they are skewed. Uh, so this is how it is uh, with regression so you can also do other functions you can if you are not sure you can also ask name names and you write the model it gives you the number of uh, of uh, variables or the number of functions that can be found from you from this model so it now depends with what you want uh, to study or what you want to know.